Hey everyone, welcome to part 2 of the Fox tutorial. In this video, we'll do the muzzle, arms, ears, tail, final assembly and finishing details of the Fox. For the muzzle, we are using white yarn and in round 1, it's 6 single crochet in a magic ring. Pull the ring tight and as always I'll be using a stitch marker in the last stitch of each round. In round 2 we do 2 single crochet into each stitch from round 1. This means we're doing 6 increases which brings us up to 12 stitches. In round 3, it's a single crochet, followed by an increase, and we do that 6 times to bring us up to 18 stitches. In round 4, we do 18 single crochet around. After round 4, we can close with a slip stitch and then cut the yarn leaving a long tail for sewing onto the face later. Next we're going to crochet the arms, starting with white yarn. In round 1, it's 6 single crochet in a magic ring. In round 2, we do 6 increases. This will bring us up to 12 stitches. In round 3, it's 12 single crochet around. But stop before doing the last stitch of round 3 because we're going to do a color change. Here is the last stitch of round 3 and we're going to change to orange. In round 4 it's 2 single crochet followed by a decrease. And we do all of that 3 times to bring us down to 9 stitches. Now we're going to do 4 rounds of just 9 single crochet around. So that's rounds 5 to 8. And I'll do these 4 rounds off camera. At this point you can add some stuffing to the base of the arm, but in my case the tails from the color changes are enough. Hold the top of the arm flat and do single crochets across both sides to close it. Then close and cut the yarn leaving a tail for sewing. And you'll need to make two of these arms. Next we're going to do the ears. In round one, it's four single crochet in a magic ring. Then 
This magic ring is very small at this point, so just work slowly and carefully here. In round 2, we do 2 single crochet into each stitch from round 1. This means we're doing 4 increases, which brings us up to 8 stitches. This is the tip of the ear, so keep folding the piece backwards as you're working. In round 3, it's a single crochet, followed by an increase, and we do all of that 4 times to bring us up to 12. In round 4, it's 2 single crochet, and then an increase. We do all of that 4 times to get 16. In round 5, it's 3 single crochet, followed by an increase, and we do that 4 times to get 20. In round 6, we just do 20 single crochet around. After round 20, you can remove the stitch marker. And then we're going to flatten the ear and do single crochets across both sides all the way along the ear. Close and cut the yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. And you'll need to make two of these ears. Next we're going to crochet the tail, and we're starting with white yarn, and in round 1, it's 4 single crochet in a magic ring. In round 2, it's 4 increases. So we're doing 2 single crochet into each stitch from round 1. This will bring us up to 8 stitches. This is the tip of the tail, so keep folding backwards as you're working. In round 3, we do 8 single crochet around. In round 4, it's a single crochet, and then an increase, and we do all of that 4 times to bring us up to 12. But stop before you do the last stitch of the round, because we're going to do a colour change. Here's the last stitch of round 4, and we're going to change to orange. For rounds 5 to 8, so that's 4 rounds, we're doing 12 single crochet around. And I'll do these 4 rounds off camera. At this point we can start to stuff the tail.
in round nine, we do a single crochet and then a decrease. And we do that all four times to bring us down to eight stitches. In round 10, we do two single crochet followed by a decrease and we do all of that twice to get six stitches. You can add a bit more stuffing to the top of the tail if you like. It can help to use the back of a crochet hook. Now we're going to flatten the top and do single crochets across both sides to close it. Then close and cut the yarn, leaving a bit of a tail for sewing. We're going to start the assembly by sewing on the arms. And I like to place them about one round below the neck, just at the side of the body. First grab a stitch from the body, go up into a stitch of the arm, and then down into the next stitch of the arm. Then grab the next stitch on the body, and do this all the way along the top of the arm. Once I reach the end, I like to grab that last stitch again and then go back and grab the first one again. Then bring the yarn tail through to the back of the body. Now we'll do the second arm exactly the same way as the first, just making sure it's symmetrical. Bring the yarn tail through to meet the first one and then you can tie these together and weave in the ends. Next we're going to sew on the tail. Once you have it in a position you like, we sew it on the same way as the arms. Once it's secure, you can bring the yarn tail through to a few places on the body to secure it. Next we're going to do the muzzle. And I first like to take the tail from the end of the muzzle and go into that next stitch just to make the step change less visible. Then take the yarn tail from the magic ring and insert it here on the face. This will help hold the muzzle in place while we sew it on. If you like, you can hold the muzzle in place using pins before sewing it on to make sure it stays symmetrical. I like to place the muzzle as close to the eyes as possible, like so. First, grab a stitch from the face Go up into a stitch on the muzzle. And then down into the next stitch on the muzzle. Check it's still symmetrical. And then grab the next stitch on the face. And repeat all the way around. I like to stop and check after every few stitches to make sure it's staying symmetrical. And I'm sewing the top of the muzzle very close to the eye. Make sure to stop before the end because we still need to add stuffing.
So there's a bit of a gap and I'm going to add stuffing before I finish off the muzzle. Then you can bring the yarn tail through to meet the first one. Tie these together and weave in the ends. Now we're going to sew on the ears and I've already done the first ear. And as you can see I've sewn it on with a slight curve. To do this I really recommend using pins to hold it in place. The top of the ear is about one or two rounds from the top of the head. And I'm sewing on the ear the same as the other pieces, just going along with the curve. As you're working, just keep checking from all angles to make sure it's in the correct place. So here's the bottom of the ear and I'm just going to grab that last stitch again and if you like you can also grab the first stitch again. And then bring the yarn tail through to the back of the head and then tie the yarn tails from the two ears together and weave in. Now we're going to do the nose. I first like to make one vertical stitch and then a few horizontal stitches like so. You can do as many horizontal stitches as you like to get the nose to the desired thickness. I actually ended up redoing this nose for the final pictures as I wanted it slightly narrower. Each eyebrow is just one diagonal stitch above the eyes. Lastly, we're going to do the whites of the eyes. Try to go in as close as possible to the eye. And that is the fox completed. As I said before, I ended up redoing the nose to make it slightly narrower. But this is just a matter of preference. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell.